Hey there, what's up internet? My name is Black Lead Attack. I once released all of the animals from the Seattle Zoo who then got jobs with the local police station. And this is episode 14 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. So, last time we uh, climbed up the tower. We made it to Union Harbor, which is a seaport city. Um, as we were about to find out, a very militaristic city. Um, we kind of fell in with the uh, with the Shinra guards. We d got disguised as a Shinra guard. We were mistaken for a Shinra guard, and then given a uh, a, a uniform, uh, apparently to march in a welcoming ceremony for the new president of Shinra, Rufus. And if you haven't been following so far, Shinra is originally a power company um, who just so happens to have their own army and currently serve as the de facto government of the world. Um, and they are blatantly corrupt and evil, but... As we continue the story, we're starting to see a shift, uh, of... Oh no, no one's here! Late? Oh, shit balls! Hey, rookie, it's because you're running around like that! Uh, don't blame me, asshole. It's your fault. You're, the, you're in charge here, so... Anyway, um... We're starting to see a shift in who the bad guy actually is in this game. It starts off, obviously, being Shinra, you know, we're attacking Shinra, Shinra's destroying the planet, etc., etc., but, uh, no, oh, fine. I wanted to go shopping, but this guy won't let me. Um, let's go, let's go. And, uh, we're starting to see a shift from Shinra being the bad guy to Sephiroth being the bad guy. But I don't think that Shinra's done it out. Um, okay, sneaking, like, let me see the opening, etc., etc. Okay, so, this is a weird mini game. Um, uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, Chief. So basically, we gotta get into uh, the ranks, just rejoin the ranks whenever this guy gives me the sign, because we're late to the parade, so I gotta I gotta start marching, and then as soon as I see my opportunity, I have to try to slip in and then just charge. You actually gotta kinda go through here and then just, what is it, the square button? No, the circle button, okay. There we go, just spam the circle button, mash the circle button. And we didn't do that. <laughs> what the hell is that soldier doing? I don't know. Are the points up? Well, it's so-so. Hmm, better send that soldier something. Yay, six potions. Okay, the best I could have gotten there is, I think, 3,000 gil. I'm not too concerned with that minigame. It's more the next minigame that I'm worried about. I, I never do well in that minigame. It's like a two-second... It's kind of funny. The way that you get judged is um, what you, what the TV ratings are. It's like, the, the television broadcasters, like, rate your performance in the parade. But anyway, so there's President uh, Rufus and... Heidegger, how's the job? How's the job? I don't remember a voice I gave him. I don't know. What happened to the airship? Uh, fuck, I don't know. The long-range airship is still being prepared. It should be ready in about three more days. Yeah, ha ha! He likes to do that a lot. The yeah, ha ha thing. Even the Air Force's Gelnica? Yeah, ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Stop that stupid horse laugh. Things are different when Father went than when father was in charge. Ah, uh, 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 yeah, fine, asshat. Is the ship ready? Yeah, fucking A. <laughs> yes, sir, we'll get it ready quickly. And he's got to do a casual hair flip. And off he goes. Yeah, ha ha. <laughs> yeah, and then we all laugh too. Ah, run from Heidegger! Run from Heidegger! He's like literally taking swings at at the military. Oh, he's about to, to miss the gondola or whatever the hell it is. Heidegger just regularly abuses his employees. Heidegger's the head of public safety, which means he basically runs the, uh... Heidegger was really irritated, etc. Hold on. The man in the black cape's been roaming the city, but we can't find him. Sephiroth? Motherfucker! Man in a black cape? He showed up two or three days ago and killed a few of our soldiers. Oh, well that's a... He disappeared right after that. There's a rumor going around that it was Sephiroth. Attention! Dismissed! Alright, fine. Um, hold on. What was I just saying? Ah, oh, this guy's got something. Hey! Hey you! You messing with the army? Yeah, what if I am, bitch? Do something about it. You're too lazy. No break for you. Get over here. Get over here! So I was gonna go on break, but now this guy's gonna make me do something else. So Heidegger is basically like the head of like the secret police. He's kind of given a euphemistic title, but is that even a word euphemistic? I don't really know. Probably not. This is the military soldier. Your orders for today are to send off President Rufus at the dock. I'll keep drilling you until it's time. Oh, fine. I'll help, sir. Me too, sir. All right, line up in order. Show me your final pose. Today's command is formation. Remember it. 
What? Junior military send off. Begin. Okay, so he like gives us orders. I like to call this J Dance Dance Junior Nation. It's basically just gonna be like a little mini game sort of thing, and um, it gives you, gives you orders, etc. It's really not that hard. I like how they call X Cross, which I guess makes more sense. Triangle, whatever. I guess it actually makes me do this little like. I thought you could skip this little like tutorial part. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Left turn. Oh God, no. Left turn, right turn. Uh, a little. Uh, yeah. Did you see how good I was, dude? I was so good. Commander, what's today's special pose? Oh, we have a special pose of the day. Oh, I haven't decided yet. All right, rookie, I'll let you decide. Show me your best move. Uh, I got this bullshit. Yeah, you mad? Whoa, it's awesome, dude. Which is obviously clouds. That's if you look. You can't really see from this angle, but that's actually clouds. Um, win pose from when he's uh. When he wins in battle, that's like his battle animation win pose, but anyway. So, now we can hit up the shops, I believe, which is good because there's some really good stuff in here, actually. And, ooh, look at who that is. I don't know if you can see, but that's Rude from the Turks. What's going on, baby? Hey, come back, come back. Rude, I want to talk to you. Hey, how's it going, baby? Oh, fine. Whatever. Come on, forget about your job. Step right up. All right, well, you got it. Hey, you. Fuck your job. Welcome! We're just starting to get worried. Our sales were pretty bad today. How do you have bad sales when there's a fucking parade? Alright, anyway, uh, so we can get a seal material, which is new. We already have plenty of restore. We gotta heal and revive material. Oh, that's quite important, actually. Revive material is pretty goddamn valuable. Um, that's basically just, uh, you know, like a Phoenix Down kind of thing, except it, uh, I think life... I think the life spell restores a bit more than a Phoenix Down. It, it, both both a Phoenix Down and a Life Spell will bring a character back to life from KO. Um, but if you get it up to Life 2... Hold on, let's, see, let's get the Striking Staff. Finally, for Eris and then everybody else we already have. Yeah, everything else we were able to steal from assorted enemies throughout the game. Um, except for the Diamond Pin, which is worse than what we have on Earth 15 currently. Anyway, well, what was I just saying? Um, fuck, I don't remember now. Oh, life two. Once you level up your materia and get to life two, then you can uh, you can restore a character to full health from KO. So, hey, it's Rude from the Turks playing cards and smoking. Yeah, he says I gotta take my mask off in order to join them at the table, though I'm not about to do that anytime soon. Um, I guess it's kind of hard to tell because the character models are so not detailed, but um, Shinra soldiers actually all wear like sort of gas masks. You may have noticed that earlier in the game. Um, when we fought the Shinra soldiers in battle, you can't see their faces because they wear it. Like, if, if I get up to the camera here, you can see I'm wearing this, like, sort of brown mask thing uh, along with the, uh, the visor from, from the helmet. Which is, like, I don't, I don't know if they say, I guess the red things right there are actually goggles. I thought, I, when I was a kid, I always thought that was part of the hat. But I guess that red thing on the front is, like, my goggles. Oh, a soldier, welcome. I love a man in uniform. Not that she said that, I kind of added that part myself. Um, yeah, let's just grab some status restoring items, grab some antidotes, whatever. I doubt, actually, I don't even know why I would use antidotes, because I have the heal materia, and that has poisona, which heals poison, which is all an antidote does. And I think poison ends after battle, so there's no point in having one for when you're not in battle. So, here's another opportunity to go to the, the uh, tutorial area, if uh, you missed it earlier in the game. And I think you have the option of learning more here, but, oops, I accidentally talked to the dog. This is the Beginner's Hall Intermediate, etc, etc. Oh, you know what's funny? If you talk to this guy, they say, I wasn't able to return to the planet. And in this in this game, the storyline goes that um, when you die, your body returns to the planet. Um, and there's something called the life stream that... We'll, we'll learn all about this later, but there's something called the life stream that swirls throughout the planet. And is the cause of all life uh, on the planet from, you know, people to animals to monsters to trees. And... When people die, they return to the life stream. Their body, um, you know, over time decomposes and, and re-adds and uh, rejoins the life stream. Um, and there's a little toy soldier thing that's a collectible that actually is, like, incomplete in this game. It doesn't actually do anything. Um, and when you talk to those guys that are, like, sort of see-through, they kind of look like holograms, like Tupac. Um, 
they they say, hey, I wasn't able to return to the live stream, so teach us more. And if you remember, those guys are at the original uh, tutorial area was actually in uh, Sector 7, in the Sector 7 slums, which was crushed by the plate when it fell. So those people are actually ghosts. And it's not, you don't really want to take that too seriously, uh, because it's, it's just a tutorial, and it's just there to help you understand the mechanics of the game, but... I um, believe we got everything, and we just got another enemy skill material that we're going to want to put on, uh, I guess, later. I'm kind of upset that we haven't been able to buy any better armor than a carbon bangle yet. That seems to be our kind of go-to armor right now. But right now, we need to go entertain Sir President Shinra, which is Rufus now. Um, but even if you're not going to hit up the tutorial to figure out the mechanics of this game, you know, you can always go there. You you always want to go to the tutorial areas when they pop up. I think there's only two of them in the game, but each time there's a materia within each one. And the first time it's an all materia, the second time it's an enemy skill materia. Here's the rest of the Turks. There's Elena, Reno, and Sung. I don't, I don't think they really say anything. Sung, I guess. One minute you think the job's boring, the next you guys start messing around. And then Reno's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't really say anything important, but you can you can kind of get to know the Turks a little bit better if you talk to them there. Uh, they don't really say anything too interesting. Um, let's see, what's in here? I think this is an inn. Nap while on duty? Nah, I'm good, man. I kind of got to get going. We can save while we're here, but I don't think there's really any necessity for it. I think, I think even before we get to another boss fight, um, we're going to have an opportunity to save again later. Hey, how's it going? Please, come in. Welcome! Please go to the counter. I'm at the counter, you bitch. Lots of stories in the community. We don't do this, we can't compete. But what bothers me is that the girls make more than me. Oh, by... I guess by this he means have attractive women attracting people inside. Except you don't actually... I can see why you don't have any business without the girls, because you don't have any material I don't have already have, you fucking jackass. You don't even sell all the material that the other guy does. Your sort of blows. And how about you? I used to be in Soldier. Once I left, I opened up this shop. But to tell you the truth, I'd rather be at the shop downstairs. Oh, because of the women. Yeah, I gotcha. Anyway. Okay, so we got a silver head glasses and a headband. I think the headband comes in useful later, but... Anyway. We'll buy two of them, why not? And... What do we have on Cloud right now for his... We have a Vitality plus 10. Let's fucking get a headband on him. Getting put to sleep is no fun, just disables that character, so we'll just make sure that can't happen. At least from that. Later there's going to be a, an accessory, a very very valuable accessory in the game called Ribbon. That we'll find. That protects you from all status effects. Ribbon is uh, the shit. So, hey, aren't you still on duty? Look, I'm in no position to talk, but apparently Shinra's soldiers just suck. Don't become a delinquent worker like me. They just, they have no work ethic apparently, but... Lots of items that have to be had up in these houses and shops and stuff in Junion. Um, it's so shameful. They told me I'd be staying at a, in uh, staying at five heart, five star hotels on these trips. I can't talk. No, how am I talking to this guy? He's like a million miles away from me. There's another one thirty fifth of a soldier. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I think it's supposed to mean that either there's it's one out of thirty five soldiers, as in the total set is there's thirty five of them. Or that it's it's uh, a 35th to scale, so it's 135th the size of a real soldier. Whatever it is, it's not very useful. Uh, and here's a guy selling all the shittier weapons in case you're low on cash, I guess. Okay, so two sets of shops. One is clearly better than the other. But yeah. The, that 135th soldier thing, they... It, it literally doesn't do anything. I think, I think it was supposed to be like a collection minigame that they kind of scrapped halfway through and just like left some of them in. So there only ends up being like like six of them in the game or something. And they don't do anything. So, anyway. Here we find a cargo ship docked. Alright, it's time. Ten hook. Yeah, let's do it up. I'm ready, bitch. President Rufus has now arrived. This is it. Junior military reception. Do it right. Do it with enthusiasm. Ready. Circle. Yeah. Left face. Right face. Right face. Dance, dance, Junior Nation, baby. Here we go. It actually doesn't matter how in rhythm I am, just as long as I get it. I can explain the mechanics later. Circle. 
triangle. Oh, look at me. Look at me in sync with these motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Come on, let's get that. Let's get that mood up, baby. Right face. Get that cross, baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got this. Oh, no, I hit the wrong thing. Oh, no. All right, now finish strong. Do the special. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. It doesn't actually matter that I fucked that up. <laughs> Oops. I done fucked. I'm the one on the right, if you can't tell. Scratching my ass. <laughs> well done. Keep up the good work for Shinra Inc. I can't decide on a, on a, on a voice for Rufus. I'm sorry. Heidegger's gonna get in this dude's face and laugh. He's so fat. Yeah, here's a special bonus for you. A token of the president's kindness. Don't forget it. Yeah, the force stealer. Fuck yeah. Okay, so. Even though I fucked that up kind of bad. Oh, was that Red 13 I saw? Was that Red 13 hiding back there? Once the word gets out that Sephiroth's here, Cloud and his friends will show up too. We'll crush them as soon as we find them. We can't have them get in our way. Leave it up to me, sir. Yeah, ha ha. I thought I told you to stop that stupid laugh. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. And... What's he gonna do? Oh, God. Everybody run. <laughs> Heidegger likes to physically beat his employees when he's uh, when he's feeling upset, which is kind of always because Rufus hates him. So, anyway. All right. Dismissed. That was close. Heidegger's really been edgy lately. Didn't somebody just say that? Because Hojo, because Hojo disappeared, leaving a letter of resignation. Oh, shit. What happened with Hojo? Heidegger's been forced to take care of that investigation, too. Uh-oh. My ass is so itchy. Hey, I thought you were dismissed. Stop gossiping, bitches. And then that soldier... What the fuck? That guy's flying all over the place. We got some cleaning up to do. Hurry up. Yeah, I'll be right there. <laughs> Jackass. Anyway, so the way that works is... Well, first off... First of all, I'm going to have to ask Reggie, my editor, to go ahead and put some DDR to that. Absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. We'll cross the ocean to the new continent, even if we are wearing Shinra's uniforms. So... The way that minigame works, every time you do an input correctly, Rufus's mood improves by 10. You have to be facing the same direction as the other soldiers, meaning you have to be facing the correct uh, uh, direction that the guy instructed you um, in order in order to gain the points. If you're facing the wrong direction and put in the right input, you're not going to get any points. Um, turning correctly offers no points, and then landing the big finish is worth 30 points. And as long as you get, I think it's a hundred or more points, you get the best reward, which is the Force Stealer. Now, some people think that the, well, there's another reward, which is, I think, an HP plus Materia is more valuable. Because you can actually buy the Force Stealer from, a, from, another, uh, from another shop later in the game. And on top of that, you, uh, you don't get an HP plus Materia anywhere else for a long time. Personally, I like the Force Stealer better. It does more damage. It has a better accuracy than Hard Edge. And on top of that, even though it has one less materia slot, it's got the double materia growth. And so the earlier you get it, the more you can level up your materia earlier in the game. So that's just my that's my little thing about that. But um, now we have to kind of move our, our materia around with that restore all back on our carbon bangle. So our materias are actually linked. And then what do I want to level up? So I don't really care about leveling up the long range materia because that doesn't actually do anything except get us another long range materia. Um, so I guess I'll put Revive on Cloud, I guess we'll put Chocomog on Cloud. We haven't, we still haven't been able to get Shiva on anybody, because we, ever since we got Shiva, we haven't really been in any fights. Um, and then I guess I'll put, I don't want to put Cover on him, really. Put a, uh, yeah, we'll put the, uh, both of our summons on Cloud for now. Just have him kind of be a dedicated magic caster the way I have him set up right now. Anyway, treasure chest, got an Aether, baby. I'm working hard already. You still want me to do more? The new president's probably the same. He's just gonna order us around anyway. Yeah, well, fuck off. Yuffie, ugh, this is why I hate ships. Hey, Cloud, do you have any tranquilizers? Yeah, here you go. Thanks. Gross, this is bitter. Where are the others? 
I don't know, are they hiding around somewhere? I don't- I'm not doing Yuffie's voice at all, obviously. How should I know? Ugh, ugh. So, I guess, I think the way to progress this is you actually have to find all of your actual characters. Um, it's me, Eris. Hey, Cloud, did you see the airship at Junion? Uh, yeah, I heard it was big, but I didn't expect it to be that big. That's what I said. About someone's penis one time. That was really something. Hey, do you think I could get on it? Yeah, I'll take you someday. We're gonna fucking bro out on the airship and you can touch my penis. Keep hoping. Wow, I'm really hoping to look forward to or I'm really looking forward to it. But if you say, yeah, keep hoping. But yeah, keep wishing. So you see, Yuffie's actually blocking the way to some material right now, which is uh, kind of a downside to having her in your party at this moment. Not to mention she asked for one of your tranquilizers, which just puts you out an item. But anyway, I think this is Tifa up here. Every, everybody, it turns out everybody made it onto the ship. We all got separated when Cloud had to climb up on his own. But everybody somehow made it up to Junion one by one. Found disguises as Shinra soldiers and then made it on board the ship. So, yes sir, everything is quiet, sir. But you know what? I really hate this uniform. Uniforms, soldiers, war, I hate them all. They take away all the things that and people you love. I wish they could all disappear, right, Cloud? Yeah, it's true. You're right. Uh, yes, sir. I'll continue my watch, sir. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, Tifa. You're, you're a really convincing soldier. Uh, actually, she is. What's that soldier doing? Oh, he's dancing. Look at him dancing. Alright. And there's a reason for that. Mm, it's me. Red 13. I'm a little woozy, but I shouldn't get caught. Humans only look at appearances anyway. Any way you look at it, I'd say I make a fine human being. <laughs> Except he has a tail. Whoopsie! I love that little... Yeah, it's funny. Let's see if we can get this boss fight done. We actually have a pretty awesome encounter coming up. I want to see if I can get this done before the episode's over. We should be able to finish the ship section. Um, go. I think right now we're still just Cloud in our party. Yep. Still only have Cloud. And then, this guy actually won't get out of your way, so the one person we're missing so far, we've seen, uh, we have six characters so far, we're controlling Cloud, we've seen, um, Yuffie, Eris, Tifa, and Red 13, so the only person we're missing is Barrett. Um, but we can't seem to find him anywhere that we actually have access to, so let's go ahead and talk to Eris. Hey Cloud, did you see Barrett? I hope he's not doing anything stupid. Well, I don't know, it is Barrett. He's probably climbing on something, knowing Barrett. He just loves to climb. For a guy with one arm, he sure does love to climb. I don't know, maybe you should get like a... Get one of those, uh, those little hook hammer things that climbers use instead of a gun for an arm. Eh, hey, there he is. Look, he's trying to climb that wall. Not really, I accidentally ran out of the screen, I think. Yeah, I did. These load times, though. Alright, here we go, I'm supposed to talk to him. Look, Cloud, it's Rufus and Hadiga. They're this close, but we can't do a thing to them. Uh, how does nobody notice that you have a gun for an arm? Just because you put a sleeve over it. You don't have a hand. I guess for sailors, it's not all that... All that odd, but... Mm, mm, how can he going off laughing like that? Because of him, Biggs, Wedge, Jesse... God, God, God damn it! Barrett's mad. God, I can't take it anymore! I'm gonna settle things here now. Emergency alert! Reports of a suspicious character found. Those not on detail. Search the ship. Report when found. I repeat, suspicious character found on board. Those not on detail. Sh search the ship. Report when found. Damn, did they find us? Oh shit, we're in trouble. Hey, that don't seem like us. Did they mean Tifa and the others? Get off your spiky butt and let's go, clown. Okay. Yes, please. I'm, I'm going. I was talking to you. I thought you would get inside me. Get inside me, Barrett. Quick. We don't have much time. Uh-oh. That's not good music. Hey, where'd everybody go? Where'd everybody go? Is it a sea monster attack? We'll save again just for the heck of it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Just in case, because I don't want to go and have to talk to Barry again in case I somehow lose this fight coming up, which I don't I don't think I'm going to, but Hello. Oh hey, look at Red 13 in his soldier costume on all fours. Everyone alright? Huh? Everyone's here, right? Hey, wait! You don't think that suspicious character is... Sephiroth? Really? How the hell am I supposed to know? I don't know who, who was supposed to say Sephiroth. Maybe they all said Sephiroth at the same time. It's the most logical thing to do. Then who's going to go? Not me. I don't even like Sephiroth anyway. And besides... 
Okay, so Yuffie's not really down, which means, of course, I'm taking Yuffie. And, uh, I guess we'll take... Let's go with Tifa. Why not? One neat thing. I told you guys I want to do, uh, even though I ground out all my limit breaks, Sephiroth. All right, let's go. Sephiroth is on the ship. Motherfucker. Uh, I told you guys, even though I ground out all my limit breaks, um, pretty hard, and I'm basically sitting on, um, ah, shit. Right now, Tifa doesn't have anything but a mithril armlet. I really need, like, a, I really need, like, a, um, car, uh, what, what do we need? Carbon bangle? Let's see. Oh, this guy will actually heal the whole party for, uh, 250 gil, so he's basically an in. He'll also, he'll also sell you stuff. Let's see if he just happens to have a carbon bag on. Nah, I thought so. He only has potions and phoenix down. Okay. Um. Can I talk to Barrett to reform the party? Yes, okay. We can talk to, if you talk to anybody, you can reform the party. Swap Barrett out with Yuffie real quick so we can steal his armor. Don't think you got out of this just yet. Nope, he also has a mithril armlet. Son of a bitch. Is it red? I think it's red. Red, 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 what am I gonna do to you? Yes, no, god damn it. Who has my last carbon bangle? Eris? It's gotta be Eris. Everybody's just keeping their grubby hands. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, she's got my materia too. Get out of here with that. Okay. Now we can go ahead, talk to Ray, grab Yuffie again. I actually like Yuffie as a character. Um, a lot of people don't like her because she kind of she kind of antagonizes the party a lot, as you'll see coming up. We don't know much about her yet. So far, all we know is that she hates the Shinner like we do, as she told um, Priscilla, the little girl that we saved. She she was very uh, very much speaking out against the Shinra. Um, doesn't like them. And other than that, um, we know that she's planning something because when we when we brought her into the party, she was like, meh ha ha, I'm evil, I got something up my sleeve. So, she's planning something, and she hates the Shinra, that's all we know. Um, so let's go ahead and, anyway, I told you guys that, um, I was going to take all of the limit breaks, and I'm going to just periodically show them to you, like, over the, over the length of the game. And that still remains true, you know. Um, let's take the Poison, uh, I guess we'll give Tifa a long range materia. That should be fine. What do we have? Get that throw materia out of there. We don't need that right now. I guess we'll take the earth materia. Already got fire on. We got the heal materia. Should be all we need, I think. I think we're good. We'll keep, uh, no, we don't, I don't think we need this other enemy skill quite yet. So we can take this. I guess we'll start getting some, uh, some AP on the seal materia. Why not? Okay, and we're ready to go. Now, I really hope I don't lose this encounter because... Fucking A, I just had to go through all that. Let's remember to grab this materia real quick. That Okay, just another all materia, not a big deal. And okay! Sephiroth is loose. Apparently there are monsters loose on the ship. Oh sweet, Tifa does have her limit break. We can show all those off. Let's just run from this. Let's just keep Tifa's limit break. Now the good thing about Tifa is... She's unique in that as she continues to gain limit breaks, uh, she doesn't, even though you do have to set which level she's on, as she continues to gain limit breaks, she does, oh wait, hold on. What did he just say? He said there's something suspicious in the engine, in the engine room and then that thing's not human. As she gains limit breaks, she actually will, um, just keep adding them on. It's like, a, it's a cumulative effect. So, as she continues to, uh, oh, I think I can steal armor from the guys on this ship. Sorry. Um, so like, oh, what is wind slash? I think that's something for you. <laughs> I can't get this fucking point out. Okay, so that's similar to the boomerang, but has better accuracy and less materia slots, but with double materia growth. Okay. Um, so she starts off with her, her first limit break. As you get her second limit break, she then does her first and then her second. And then when you get her third limit break, she does her first, second, and third. So it just keeps going, keeps going. Um, until uh, you know until you have seven limit breaks and, and she does seven hits in a row so I can actually show you guys all six of Tifa's limit breaks all in one limit break which is which is neat you know it's not that great uh, Tifa generally speaking doesn't have a great limit break 
um, because you can't control which character or which enemies it targets and it only deals a maximum of seven hits. And when it comes to limit breaks and the quality of limit breaks, real quick, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get into some fights and see if I can steal uh, some armor from these guys. Uh, as as you as you start to get to the higher level limit breaks, what really matters the most, more than anything, is how many times it hits. Because uh, there there is a damage cap in this game, uh, and uh, the damage cap is based entirely uh, on or not. I'm sorry, not the damage cap, but the amount of damage you can deal is based entirely on how many times you can hit at the damage cap. Now the damage cap is 9,999. Um, so, you know, the, the highest four-digit number you can have. So, if Tifa, all of Tifa's hits do the max amount of damage, then it's only doing, uh, or not only, but it's dealing um, about seven, 70,000 points of, of damage. Um, and that's that's pretty good and all. It's just that you have uh, Cloud's final limit break, I think, hits, I want to say, 16 times, and then there are two characters in the game that have limit breaks that hit 18 times. And although it's harder to reach the damage cap with those abilities, if you do, you're going to be dealing way more than Tifa could ever hope to. So let's see if I was right about getting um, about getting armor from these guys. I could have been completely wrong this entire time. And if I am wrong, I'm just going to time skip, to be honest. Um, come on, baby. Come on. What do we got? Couldn't steal anything. That's actually a good sign, because if it is armor, it's going to have a low steal chance. So this is apparently why a headband is useful, because <clears throat> if Tifa had one, she wouldn't be asleep right now. Come on, Yuffie, baby. Come on. Do it for me. Come on. Hitting the wrong button. Come on, Yuffie. Come on. Come on. Get that. Get that. Shinra Beta. I was fucking right. Shinra Beta is indeed a piece of armor. So let's go ahead and just steal three of those. And I'm going to time skip because it should take a little bit. Okay, boom. Three Shinra Beta armors ready to go, which I believe is uh, superior to the to the Carbon Bangle problem that we've been having. Um, I'm going to have to double check that, though. Yes, perfect. Okay, so it lowers your defense to percentage, which I think is like a dodge chance. It's like how, mu how much chance you have to not be hit by an attack, but it does increase our defense. And you can see that the magic defense uh, decreases by equipping it, but... As I told you guys before, the, sh the uh, magic defense that applies uh, via armor in this game is actually bugged and does not apply at all, so it doesn't matter. Um, I guess we'll keep Cloud as our kind of dedicated caster here, put that throw materia back on Yuffie, and then we can go, I guess we'll level the Chocobo lore up a little bit, because I don't think... I can't remember if this boss fight has any enemy skills or not. It might have one, and even then it's not a very good one. It's not one that I can't get somewhere else, so. Um, actually, nah, I was going to say let's let's wait until the next episode because we are getting a little long. No, you know what? Let's wait until the next episode. We're going to cut it off here. Sorry, guys. Sorry to get you all wound up for that, but we're going to continue see what's up with this guy who's looking mighty suspicious in the next episode. I hope to see you guys there. Don't forget to like the video if you did indeed enjoy. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.